morning, bumblebeezies. Happy Tuesday. It is 9.30. I am surprised. I didn't know it was that late. It is 9.30 right now. I just made my coffee. This is today's mug. Focus. Focus. Hello. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, there you go. This is today's mug. Minnie and Mickey on the sled with... Uh, Pluto and then on the other side it says warm winter wishes super cute and then you already know sugar-free peppermint mocha so because I only took out like half of my holiday mugs you guys will just see the same mugs <laughs> over and over again until the end of the year Mm. <clears throat> These are the pajamas from Costco. I went ahead and got two more pairs while they were still on sale. So I got this one. And the other one I got is, um, I think it's white or cream. I don't even remember. <laughs> but yeah, today is definitely going to be a PJs kind of day. I did shower, but then, you know, I put PJs on after. <laughs> um, it's going to rain today. The, the forecast says it's going to rain at 1 o'clock until tomorrow. It says 100% chance of rain, so that's good. It'll be nice to get some rain. And yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, I'm super excited. If you guys saw yesterday's vlog, I showed um, the Disney Starbucks ornaments from Shop Disney like the Disneyland ones and the Disney World ones and I did order them, all of them <laughs> so I ordered seven of those ornaments because there's one for every park so four for Disney World, two for Disneyland then there's one holiday parks ornament so seven ornaments and I'm super excited I plan on putting those on my tree in my bedroom and yeah, that's gonna be like my new thing I'm gonna start collecting those <laughs> ornaments um, yeah, me and my friend Donna are doing that. Super exciting. Um, and then I did decorate the bar. I didn't take out all of my Christmas decorations because a lot of them are like wrapped in bubble wrap and we're moving next year and I just don't want to have to like take everything out just to put everything back. So I just did like the bare minimum. And then I have to get my garland, which I don't know where it's at actually. I mean, it's in the garage. I think it's in a big box. So I have to look for that. If, I don't know. I might not even put the garland up. We'll see. I might put it up. We'll see. So I still have to get that. And then I still have to put all the bins back into the garage because I didn't get around to doing it yesterday. Also, I was supposed to make stuffed peppers like last week, days ago. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, it's fine. I'll just make it. I was gonna make it today so I can have that for lunch for like the next couple of days but I don't have any ground beef like I don't know what happened to my ground beef because I'm pretty sure I bought ground beef for it last week but maybe I used it for something else so I I'm probably gonna go to Safeway on my lunch break to get some ground beef and then I'm going to prepare the peppers but I won't eat it today because I'll probably eat it like tomorrow and then the next two days and then I have a meeting tonight from 4 to 5, so I am going to take a longer lunch break. I'm going to take an hour lunch break because I need to be on the clock until 5. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and I need to do laundry. I need to do laundry. And yes, we are leaving for Vegas next week. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have so much to do Like before we leave. I want to get my nails done. I want to get my nails and my pedicure. And then I have a wax appointment. And then my friend Ariel, she actually started doing eyelash extensions. That's her new business. So she's going to do my eyelashes next Wednesday. And I completely forgot we were supposed to celebrate Thanksgiving with Ariel on Wednesday. So I told him, can you just come on Tuesday instead? And he was totally okay with that. So we're going to celebrate Thanksgiving here on Tuesday. And then we leave for Vegas on Thursday. And I am aware... COVID is going up, like the cases are going up. 
when we go to Vegas, you guys, we will be staying at our house. We have a house in Vegas. So we are just going to be in our house. We will most likely not go anywhere. Like we just, we're just gonna go there just to be there and see Alfredo and then um, it'll just be nice to not be here, like just to be somewhere else. And we'll do a lot of like cooking at home and just hanging out at home and it'll be fun and it'll be nice to just get away, you know? Okay, I do want to go to the strip though, but we can just like drive by like we don't have to go down, but we'll see We'll see what we get into um, So yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I caught you up on everything It's 12 30 right now and we just got back from Safeway AJ and Vanessa wanted chicken tenders and potato wedges. So that's what they got for lunch today that's what they're gonna eat for lunch today and then I still have steak from yesterday. We have one steak left So I'm gonna eat steak and eggs cuz I don't I've been craving eggs <laughs> I'm like really craving like a fried egg. So I'm gonna do steak and eggs and then I also bought Just the ground beef, which is what I went there for and then I also got some romaine lettuce and then we saw this when we were in line so we'll save this for Vlogmas, the Rice Krispie Treats stocking kit. And the kids can decorate it. Well, the kids can make it and decorate it. So that's it. That's everything that I got. So I'm going to go ahead and um, make my eggs and then warm up my steak. So here is my steak and my egg. And then we just had like a little bit of broccoli from leftover from last night. So that's my lunch. Oh, and then I like to use, um, well, I like A1 sauce. That's my favorite steak sauce, but I'm using this one uh, because it's sugar-free. The Primal Kitchen steak sauce, sugar-free. It's pretty good. I like it. It's 4.45. I have a lot of stuff going on right now. So for the kids' dinner tonight, it's going to be chicken parmesan and some, well, it's supposed to be spaghetti, but I have this left over, these noodles. So I just want to finish this. I have half a pack of that, so we're going to use that. We're waiting for the water to boil. My dinner is gonna be meatballs. I have it going right there. This is the spaghetti sauce for the kids. And then I'm cooking the chicken in here. Well, it's already cooked, but I'm just, you know, warming it up. And then while all of that is happening, I'm going to work on my stuffed peppers. I'm gonna eat this tomorrow and like the next couple of days. So I have my ground beef, we have some cheese, onion, garlic. I have my bell peppers here. I'm gonna add some mushroom and then we're just gonna season it up stuff the peppers and put them in the oven. dinner my meatballs broccoli the kids chicken and pasta this is like a whole like slice of pro um, provolone cheese that's why it looks just like cheese but there's sauce underneath the cheese and then there's the other plate so yep yeah, that's our dinner and then after I eat dinner I'll cook my peppers I'm gonna start cooking the um, peppers so I have my onion here I'm gonna cook this just for a couple of minutes and then I'll add the garlic and the ground beef. I'm gonna season the beef with some garlic powder. Um, let's see, let's do onion salt. I'm gonna do some of this umami seasoning. And then regular salt and pepper. Okay, and then the mushrooms. 
and we'll just let it cook. I didn't put regular salt yet because I want to try it first and see if it needs more salt. Um, so yeah, we'll, I'll check it later. So I added more mushroom and also salt and more garlic powder. And that's it. This is cooked. So I'm going to take this and stuff my peppers. I have my peppers here stuffed with the meat. And I'm going to top it with some of this cheese, this Mexican style cheddar jack. So I'm going to put these in the oven 400 degrees um, until the peppers are nice and soft and the cheese is melted and like brown and bubbly. Okay, so we're going to put this in here like that. So it's on bake, 400. Here's the peppers. I ended up putting more cheese, so it has a lot of cheese, you guys. What are we gonna do? This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Oh. What do you, what do you mean, oh? This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Only one of y'all can do the ending. Then it'll be me. No, it's gonna be me, because I'm the rootiest, tootinest cowboy in the wild, wild west. Then prove it. I don't need to prove nothing to you. My grandpappy said I'm the most fine cowboy he did ever see. Well, he sure lied to you. What do you mean? He's probably just being nice. That's simply not true. I'm the best cowgirl in the wild, wild west. You don't even have an accent, little girly. You probably the most fakest cowgirl I ever did see. How come you only have an accent in this ending, but all the other endings seem pretty normal to me? What are you talking about? This is my... It's because I'm a sheriff today. Today. But the other days, nothing. Well, I don't see you having no accent. I don't need one. I'm cool without it. All just an act. I don't know what y'all talking about, but I'm gonna have to settle it to a duel. Ready, steady, fire! Well, looks like I won. Good night. This ain't the last of me. It is. Double whammy.